So I'm just in my boat here and I've had a care package being given to me by, look at, look at this, it's got some lovely little gifts in it. We'll have a look, oh shit, we'll have a look in that in a minute. everyone we're leaving this lovely place at Grindley Brook it was awful mud under trees because when the rain was hammering it down last night I didn't get a wink of sleep because the tree was brushing my roof it was touching me up yeah and it was just dead noisy so I'm moving today and one of the main reasons I'm moving is because my mum is coming to Whitchurch today which is where I'm heading with my nephews so I can't wait to see them so that's gonna be great I've mentioned this before but during winter the sun is so low in the sky it's actually very blinding you can hardly see a bloody thing can't see a sausage no. oh it proper dazzles me yeah what a beautiful day today it's a sort of autumny wintry bright lovely day beautiful I've got my uh, nipple warmer on So that's my friend Paul and Anthony's boat on the left, the bluey green one. Yeah, absolutely lovely couple. And they've just waved to me. They stood at the swing bridge with a lady and they're opening it for me. So that's fantastic and just go straight through there. And I'm actually going to be turning left onto the Whitchurch arm. It's a dead end down there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually reverse down the arm because the last time I went down there, the winding hole was so salted, I really struggled to turn with my draft. So it'll just make it a lot easier for me to get back out again. So I've just got myself all mauled up here in Whitchurch, waiting for my mum and nephews, and I'm with the boys. So nice to see you again, Hardy. <laughs> Oh, it's looking trendy excellent? with your Aldi bag there. Oh uh, yeah, don't look like Roy Cropper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've got the Roy Cropper jacket on yeah. as well. I believe it. Beautiful decks there. And a few decks there. Love you, mate. So after saying hello to the boys, I went and walked to Aldi. It's very rare to get a big supermarket so close to the canal or within walking distance. I wanted to stock up on some supplies, get some nice fresh vegetables, but it was very difficult walking with a heavy shopping trolley back down a muddy towpath because the wheels dig in, they dig into the mud. <laughs> so we've come to the cock and greyhound pub. You couldn't write this, could you? The Cock and Greyhound Pub, and it's just behind the lovely church, and we're in Whitchurch. Church. Yeah, yeah we're we'll just coming to the pub because we're going to have some food. Ah, oh, the Cock and Greyhound. <laughs> no, there isn't. No. And Yeah, so we're not going in there now. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing the kids fancies. We're going to find somewhere else. Where are we going now then, kids? What do you want to eat? Let me have a look. Well, Jack wants McDonald's. Yeah, so now at the second hey. pub of the day. We've not even had a drink yet. Yeah, this one's called the Boar's Head. Give me five, George. There's Nan and Grandad. Out there. Oh my goodness. 
it was lovely in there and uh, quite a good menu but the kids want McDonald's. So Jack, where are we? McDonald's! Is that what you wanted? Yeah! Are you happy? Yeah! Not what I wanted! <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! Not what I wanted either because they haven't got a bar! Right, come on kids! See, children's happiness is everything. <laughs> yeah, well there's nothing worse than a whinging kid, is there? <laughs> you enjoying it, Jack? Yeah. Bye. 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 Oh, so I've had a lovely afternoon <laughs> and uh, we got to eat in the end. It was McDonald's. <laughs> Not good, but the kids loved it. <laughs> it's all about the kids, isn't it? everyone well I'm wearing my Sailor Jerry's apron that Sarah and Ed got me yeah it's got the rum on it yeah I'm gonna pour rum in a minute but for now got this on because I'm gonna do a bit of cooking yeah I'm gonna make a homemade soup now you, those that have known me for a long time know I'm an absolute terrible cook I tend to live on sort of roast vegetables stir fries pasta pesto that sort of thing but I do make this soup quite often. Well, I make a soup quite often. And I normally make it in my Mr. D's thermal cooker. Now with winter coming and that, we're trying to save on power because everything's gone up. Gas has gone up, diesel's gone up, coal's gone up. So it's all about saving those energy costs. Now, this is not a paid promotion. I bought this in 2014 at my first ever Crick Boat Show. And it's dead old. It's like the version one of this. I don't think they look like this anymore. But it's a Mr. D's thermal cooker. Pour yourselves a glass of wine, glass of rum, orange juice, cup of tea, whatever. Relax and watch me cook. So when I make a soup, I tend to make a base, which is normally leeks, onion and celery. And then I add mushrooms or whatever I can get hold of, really. And here to use up, I've got a load of celery. I've just got some onion. I've got no leeks. But I have got some broccoli and some mushrooms. I've got some peppers as well. So I'm just going to throw it all in. So that's all washed. So I'm going to chop this up now and then I'm going to add that to there. I'm just sauteing the onions now. I like to use real butter because I think it just tastes a lot nicer. I don't like all these hydrogenated fats and stuff. I like the real thing. Whee! And anyway, once they're sort of softened and sweated a bit, I'm going to add the celery. It's going to be more of a celery soup, this. But I am going to add some mushrooms, a few peppers, and maybe some broccoli, cauliflower. I'm not sure. Just throw it all in. Lob it all in. It's full of goodness. Oh, that smells lovely. So now they've sweated for a bit, what I'm going to do is add my stock. And the stock gives it more flavour and bulks it out a bit as well. Cheers. So I could have started the soup off on my log burner, but I've got two big kettles on here at the moment. Plus the fire's only on tick over, so I think it would have taken ages to get this to boiling. So yeah, so I'm going to just use the water off this stove now to make my stock. What I've done with the stock is I tend to use a veggie cube and a chicken cube. Love them in. I'm not a vegetarian, but I do eat a lot of veggie food. But I love a nice sausage as well, yeah. But it just tends to be because I can always grab some vegetables. So I'm going to tip this kettle now into here. This should be hot. It's been on the fire all day. Measure that out. There we go. And give it a spin. And then we're going to add that now to my soup. So now I've added this stock, I'm just going to bring it up to its simmering and uh, yeah, have another drink. So cheers. Mm. Just wet in the lips. When you wet in the lips. It's gone everywhere that has. All over the bloody show. 
So I've added the broccoli, cauliflower, we've got celery in there, we've got onion in there. So we're going to throw the mushrooms in and then let that simmer for 10 minutes and then it's going in the Mr. D's. Yeah, what it is, is I'm really conscious, living on a boat, I often only use like co-ops, small supermarkets. So I feel like I don't get all my goodness that I need sometimes because I do convenience shop. Yeah, and I don't get good stuff. I end up buying things like pizza and chips and stuff. So this is going to be a good, wholesome meal. So, hmm. So wait till that get going now and then I'm going to throw it after 10 minutes into this. And so guys, after 10 minutes now, we just turn it off on there, open up the Mr. D's thermal cooker, grab this, drop it in. Oh, make sure it's in. Shut the lid and that's it. That then will continue to cook for hours. I'm just doing a veggie soup, but in this you can do joints of beef, you can do all sorts of stuff. But yeah, so I'm just doing a veggie soup, so it won't take long at all. But obviously if you're doing meat and things like that, it will take a bit longer. So I've got the old Jackery out now. It's running my coffee machine. Woohoo! And I love a good fresh coffee. I'm going to move the boat in a minute and it's absolutely freezing outside. So this will keep me insides warmed up. Yeah, I'm only going to move probably about a 20 minute cruise, half an hour cruise. It's just this arm can, can be quite busy and there's winter moorings going on and I don't want to be taking up a space. So I just want to get myself into a new spot and I love my new views, don't I? It's all about new views for me. And that's done. Fantastic. needs a rum. So with my soup cooking in the thermal cooker and my coffee in hand it's time for a late afternoon cruise. Just want to give a quick shout out to Captain Turnip for becoming a patron of the channel. Thank you so much for your support. That winter sun's a right killer. Oh but lovely. It's just the sun's going to be setting very shortly, that's why it's so low in the sky. Yeah, I'm just going to find myself somewhere now to moor up. I might just moor here actually, looking at it. But because we've got these strong winds, I don't want to be right by a massive tree. God, boy, you know, I'm so finicky about my mooring spots, I really am. But when you're going to stay for a few days, you want it to be nice. I've just moored up here now on the outskirts of Whitchurch but it gives me a chance now to hunker down whilst we've got this storm coming in and then I'll move again in another few days but this will do me for now yeah, it's all right here and it's still only not far to Aldi and not far to post office so yeah it's all right so I'm just in my boat here and I've had a care package <laughs> being given to me by look at look at this it's got some lovely little gifts in it we'll have a look oh shit we'll have a look in that in a minute <laughs> dropped it but it's from these lovely people Hi Heidi. So what are your names? Dave and Linda. Dave and Linda. And what's your boat called? Kiara. Kiara. And they're down on Whitchurch Arm. Oh bless you. Well, thank you so no much. <laughs> it was a big R. <laughs> oh so how lovely is that? They've just gone now. Let me show you what they've got me. Dead man's fingers. One of my favourites. Some rum. I've got oh, some brandy filled mince pies. Oh, beautiful. Some pork scratchings. Chocolate bars. Oh, bless them. Aren't they bloody lovely? And so some a chocolate drink. Oh, bless them. Lovely little and a card as well. Oh, people. Oh, it's just every day. People are just so kind. I get overwhelmed with it all. I really do. Anyway, that soup should be done now, so let's check on it, eh? So I've also got in the oven here some cheese scones. I made them with almond flour because I don't do carbs. 
but I'm trying not to do carbs apart from chips from Chippy. But anyway, so I've got some keto cheese scones in here, so they should be done. Oops, a bit, bit, bit browned off there, but yeah, they'll do. So I'm going to have them with some nice thick butter on and my soup. looks amazing so let's just uh see into a little bit of homemade soup oh god so this mr d's thermal cooker it's absolutely fantastic because the good thing about it is is you can set off in the morning you can just quickly put together a spaghetti bolognese a curry a stew anything like that a soup yeah just get it all together put it in there and then go off cruising or go out for the day and come back and you've got your tea ready and like that soup now that'll give me like three or four days so that's brilliant so i'm gonna eat it all now and watch some bit of youtube yeah so if you have enjoyed this video please do give it a like subscribe if you haven't already and before i go a big shout out to this week's pirate crew and here they are me hearties we've got norman turner jack and amber stinky the poo fishless clive thank you so much again clive very generous Lane and Larry, Captain Morgan, Grant and Ange Murray, Stephen and Carol from Wrexham, Eddie Provost, Southern Cross Yachting, Alan Harbit, Mark Grunenberg and Thoughts on Fitness. Thank you so much for all your support guys. Also a huge thank you to my patrons for their continued support and encouragement. It means the world to me so thank you very very much. Anyway that's it guys. Please stay safe, take care and I'll see you next week. Here he is, look, it's his boyfriend, it's David! Yeah. Well. Who's in the court? Oh. Happy Christmas! Yeah, I've got a little... I'm so excited to see him, I can't walk straight, honestly. <laughs>